Hello there, everybody. My name is Master Rolfus. Welcome to the second part in our Let's Play of Endless Legend. And when we last left off, we were just about done killing the dirty savages of the Bulls Village, which are basically a race of centaurs. So let us continue on with our journey to become endlessly legendary. Aha! Uh -huh. You get it? I made a, a pun about the game. Ah. Uh. I'll kill myself later. Anyway, so let's see. Burrow Streets has been completed. Good, which means now we can utilize the mineral rich deposits right over here which is really good and now our production's actually skyrocketed the settler actually took i think 17 turns before and now it's down to 10 which is actually really good i love that quite a bit we're gonna try and go up north like i said before and try to get the earth tower and the azotic exotics and the steel stalks just to get even more production let's see here's our great and glorious leader we can now go east and try to get the untainted ruins over there for our little quest we already went over there, so go east. Go, 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 go with your little axe. Ooh, we could attack this village over here, but I want to get another unit at least. Maybe I should just deal with uh, this force of just the seer. Yeah, just the seer. 37 health, 24 attack, 6 defense, 12 initiative, debuff immunity, 14 critical. Maybe if I get like two necro drones, I'll be able to go after them. Because for now, one on one, it's anybody's game at this point. Okay, so here is Uskvikiv, and over here right now, we're at the borders of another empire, so we might want to actually establish like a little settlement right over here so that we can prevent the other empire from expanding. Who knows? We have been a little bit slow when it comes to expanding, actually. Ah, nice. Now our empire is a little bit more wealthier, that's good. We're getting currently empire mint, which is awesome. Uh, does that make a lot of difference when it comes to our money situation? It made some difference because now these tiles are getting some gold. Uh, actually, no, they didn't get any gold. Hold on a sec. Maybe I read this entire technology wrong. On terrain with river, all tiles from source to mouth. On terrain with water. Hmm, okay. Isn't this a river? Yeah, this is a river, right? Yeah, so how come we're not getting gold over here? Oh, this isn't a river. This is wetland. But over here, we're not getting gold. Even though this is a river tile, it's a little bit weird. Maybe we have to control the source of the river, like the mouth? I don't know. Something to really keep an eye on. See if we messed up or not. Ooh, there's another ruin in the Kat Zanji. Hmm, they have demons, or daemons, which are flying type unit that look like demons. And where do they live? They live right over there. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. For now, let's go to these ruins. Check them out for any booty. Some fresh booty! Ha 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 You are hard to lead. Ooh, follow the tracks of the creatures that pillage the treasure. One of the armies roaming in Uzbek, Uzkiv, sorry, has the treasure that you seek. Find the army defeated and make the booty yours. We have a bunch of ro centaurs and we have some rumblers. Rumblers are... Ooh, they're actually a tad too beefy for my taste. Same with the centaurs. I don't know, that was a bad decision actually to go for that rune. So let's go ahead and go for these ruins actually. Hopefully the centaurs won't chase after us. Population has grown to four, good. It's gonna grow even more once we get the seed storage. Ah shit, wait. This isn't the centaur force. Oh, this is the dredge force. Okay, so they have 22 attack. And we have 21, 35, 26. Yeah, we can fight this. Yeah, let's definitely fight this. There's only one unit in there. What are you doing? Checking us out from afar. Assholes. Alright, let's get ourselves ready. And you know what? Let's all attack. All at the same time. Come on. How dare you! You're fight me. You're gonna regret it when I chop your balls off with my axe! It's Basisol, the dirty man slayer. Well, technically, I'm Basically, the three-man drudge slayer, if anything. Alright, so we've gained more XP. That's good. Search that tile, and look at that. More adamanti. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to get gold and Wolfbane the Shepherd from this one tile. And let's see. Wolfbane the Shepherd gives us ooh, a lot of attack damage. That's actually really good. But it's in enemy territory, or neutral territory. Well, every enemy is mine. And every, like, sort of neighbor is my enemy at this point. Thanks. 
People are expanding. I gotta start expanding. Ooh, we don't have enough gold, but we do have enough gold for you. So you know what? Let's rush out the Necro Drone and try to kill off these two. Well, not these two, but um, this force right over here. Really, Centaurs? Ugh, um, let's hold position. Let's manual. I don't know how the auto resolve works in this game, so I don't really want to test it. Alright, so let's see. We can go right over there. We can put our melee unit or our main um, leader right over there. And then we can put our forgers in the back. Because I know the forgers aren't going to get... Aren't going to die really, really easily. But this unit right over here, the Necro Drone, oh, he's a badass. So if they want to get through our forgers, they have to get through my leader and my Necro Drone first. Alright, that's pretty much it. Um... I'll just hold position. You hold position, and you can hold position, and you can hold position. Whoa! whoa. Oh wait, I told you to. Ah, damn it! I couldn't defend. Oh, that's bad. This is really bad because I'm gonna get a penalty now because of my um, lack of defenses. Oh yikes! Whoops, that was bad. That was not ideal at all. Okay, so I messed up completely. This is battle. However, we got a good concave off of them, so this is pretty good. Ooh, and my leader will be able to kill one of them, which is nice. And he'll go after my leader like a dumb dumb instead of the forager, which he could actually like try to kill. So right now my units will be able to actually finish off the centaur. Alright, so this has basically been a failure that's actually been able to work out in my favor. It's really, really good. Alright, um... At least my units have actually um, used the four tiles when they were available to them, which is actually pretty darn good. That's more than I can say for a lot of other um, AI in other strategy games. And you know what? We will be able to heal up, which is good. So all around good stuff. Um, there's still a roaming army here, so you know what? I guess we can go and deal with him. I just have to keep my leader alive, so next time the cannon fodder are going to go in the front. Okay, you two. New army. Fight these guys. Come on. Let's, let's just kill them. The Sisters of Mercy. Oh, you'll know my mercy. <laughs> you'll know my pain and suffering. Wait, are these ranged units? They... they have spears. I think they might be melee. Nope, they are... Yeah, they're melee, actually. Never mind. Ooh, good counterattack. Really, really good. We just killed a buttload of them, and now we're about to kill a buttload more. Of course, after she takes down one of my glorious flies first. But we were able to win that battle, which is good. Okay, that's good. This, is, this has been really good. Alright, and our turn. Do, 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 do. I love this music right now playing like da, 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 da. Oh no 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 please don't attack the target If anything I need to check out where the roaming army went Where did the roaming army out go actually? Picking in Oh the refugees are in an untainted ruin really? So could they be over here? Hold on a sec Let me, let me check this out for a little bit Find and destroy the boss village in the region and look for the dissidents and refugees in the untainted ruins. Where... Where's the untainted ruin? You know where it is? Is it in this one? I guess it is in that one. Okay, what about the roaming guy? Hmm, I can't find him. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go to the next village uh, soon. Well, not the next village, but the next Untainted Ruin soon. Otherwise, I'm going to lose out on a quest. So let's try to go into, I guess, em enemy territory for now. In this ruin. Maybe there might be something in there. Ah, darn it. So I have to go to the pre-approved ruins. That's this. Oh, look, the Wild Walkers. Alright, they have some good units at the start, I guess. Actually, no, wait, my units do a lot more damage. Okay, so fuck them. Stupid wild walker pussies. Ooh. Feed on bones, the second has gained an ability. Nice. You know what? Feed on bones, you can become even more defensive. And you can have more life. 
So you're a little bit tankier, that's good. And we're gonna wait till we actually get out the cellar and then escort him. I think that's the best thing to do. Oh, we need to build this building in order to actually get the effect of more gold on river tiles. Okay, my bad. Ooh, minus 19. Oh, that's because of settler from Q. Okay. So we shouldn't build settlers all the time because that actually limits our um, growth in the city. Ah, go, 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 go. Will we be able to get there? I'm not sure. Is this the capital of their empire? Might not be. But I guess we'll be able to check that out later. That is bad. Coyote warriors. Well, that's lame. They're not coyotes. They're not dogs. They look like, you know, little elf prostitute chicks from Skyrim. Alright, let's just move into the, into the ruins, I guess. Ah, nice. We got Wolfbane the Shepherd. Let's see how much damage this does. Where's where's Wolfbane the Shepherd? Is the Wolfbane the Shepherd like uh, an item that I can equip? Hmm. Okay, let's go to let's go to this guy. Does he hate me? Close borders. Well, well bro, I mean, it's, stuff happens, you know. Declaration of war. We could give a declaration of war. We could send him a warning. Go like, hey, fuckface, don't even try going at us. Hmm, what's this? Cold War. Okay, so... At first contact for a period of 10 turns, empires cannot attack each other. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. And if you guys want to read, like, what um, Cold War is, you can just pause it right now. Uh, I'll give a quick synopsis. So basically, people can attack each other, they can't talk to each other, they can't really do anything during the 10-year period, and then at the end of the period, then people can attack each other, They're, and, um... They can also attack third-party empires without declaring war on each other. But they have to pay additional cost and influence. Okay. And they can also attack in neutral regions. Okay. Alright. Alright. Fair enough. And you can also roam th freely through the regions in which Cold War is present between your empires. Okay. So he can't attack me. I can't attack him. Alright. Now, Wolfbane the Shepherd, where is this? I'm so confused. Or maybe I just can't get it. That sucks. Alright, where's the next ruin? Where is the next ruin? That will allow us to continue our quest. Maybe it's, maybe it's somewhere in my empire. Who knows? Check this out. Oh, come on. Okay, let's send in these guys then. And they can collect the ruins. Oh no wait, what's the, what's one of the prerequisite requirements? But a hero, of course, of course. Here, let's assign Feet on Bones, the second. There we go. Problems are solved, but now these guys are actually leaderless, so we're gonna have to pull back a little bit. So far it seems like his eastern territory right over here is actually neutral, which means he's only a one province empire, which is pretty good. Okay, let's search this um, ruins out. Ah! Awesome. So now, we have all the goodies. That's good. Alright, feed on bones. Let's see what you get. Oh, now you get the whole shebang. That's cool. Okay. Cascade of the Wanderer. It is superstition, of course, that a weapon or piece of armor that sees all the oceans and mountains of Aragura... Or... Aga? Yeah, or Aga gain superior powers, that would mean that some power is watching over Araga. Old wives' tales, at best. Okay, so let's, uh, put on the new helm. Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Someone's hitting the club tonight. Okay, so what about the uh, wolfbane thing? Or can I just not equip that? Oh. Um, no, I don't... I don't want to do that. Okay, that's good. So, Wolf on Bones the second is now a little bit more tanky, but... What about the other thing? I'm so confused. So wait, I don't get the sword? Maybe it's like, away from me in terms of tech? It's two-handed. I'm so confused. I, I don't understand. So, I, I don't have it? 
Like, if there's something I'm missing, please, um, let me know. Because I feel a little bit dumb right now. You know what? Fuck it. We don't- we don't need that stupid spear. I'll chop their balls off with their- my axe. They're gonna regret it. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So now let's get out my settler. And let's go to... Let's go meet up with my forces up north. And let's also get a burrow straight. And like I said before, and we're going to make our way up north and try to get the grassland and... Well, not the grassland, but the... What is this called again? Oh, fuck. I keep forgetting. Exotic exotics. And this is probably the Earth Tower. Yep. Earth Tower. Oh, yeah. By the way, how's my city doing? A lot of gold per turn, but a lot of it is being wasted upon by my hero upkeep and my military upkeep, actually. So, that's the thing. But my food consumption is all around really, really good. We're about to grow another population in five turns. That's actually incredible. Maybe we can get away with actually using one more settler. Yeah, let's do it. Let's use, let's uh, build one more settler and then afterwards we can enter a period of growth. Seems pretty good. Just get out of this province as soon as we can. Oh, nice. Sorry. Technology has been completed. Ooh, season has changed to winter, making life and movement more difficult. Minus 50% on winter movement reduction immunity. Minus one food on terrain with food. Minus one gold with ter on terrain with dust. Minus one vision, minus one expansion, minus one district. Times two, affinity, strategic resource on winter modifier. Ooh. This is really bad. Yeah, our gold situation is already being shut down right now because of this. We're a couple of techs away from getting to tier two. I think what we should do now is actually try to maybe get a public library. That'd be awesome. Get more tech. Or more uh, tech research speed. Okay, settlers, you can move up. Yeah, everything's already super slow, so... Let's group up the settler with the hero. These guys are continuing to make their way across. So thank God we don't take, like, continuous damage from... I don't know, freezing to death, because that would be super, super bad. Okay, okay, that's good. Now, where should we expand to? Up north in Uskiv, like I said before, and that would stop the expansion of two of these empires. But at the same time, we do need to link up. Maybe I might conquer this area over here. No, Laron. Let's see. There's a minor village right over here. In fact, actually, if we, oh, where's the villages right now? So one right over here, the Boss Village, and then the Untainted Ruins, and then we have a Delver's Village right over there. We have um, another village right... Oh, no, that's not another village. Okay, so which one is the other village? Ah, the Kazaji Village is actually in Saimod. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so from what I can tell, there's one village for every sort of province right now. There's not, like, two villages in one province. Okay, so... We do have to subjugate the boss village in order to actually complete our objective. So let's go ahead and go to Delred. Even though I want to go to Uskiv. I guess we can just like send over another guy in to Uskiv after we conquer Nolaron. Home with Delred is that it doesn't have any good resources except for the boss village. Actually, hold on. Maybe I might be wrong on that accord. Nope, except for the boss village, that's pretty much it. Oh, this is such a wasted area. Yeah, to be honest, I'd rather go here, where there's an oasis, where there's a Delver's village, where there's actual luxury resources. I just realized something, too. Delrid actually doesn't have any food production here, from the looks of it. Well, actually, that's probably because it's winter, so maybe when it changes to, like, summer, things would be a lot better. Heck, Kalal doesn't have a lot of food production going for it. Well, actually, that's not true. There is a couple of uh, food being produced every single turn. Hmm. But that's because of my buildings, I guess. So maybe if we, like, build buildings in, like, Delrid, that would actually help out our food production. That would be ideal. Considering we do have to actually subjugate the boss village. Do we? Hold on, let me check. Let me check. Oh, we just have to destroy them. Okay, that's good. But I do want to assimilate them into our 
sort of uh, empire so I can get their units. Because centaurs would actually be really cool. Okay, let's just go up north. Let's go. Let's let's go. Oh, oh actually, you know, no. Ah, confused. I'm, I'm really bad. I'm really bad at choosing. Ah, oh, uh, eating medium, mighty mo. Check, catch tiger by the toe. Ooh, we'll be cactus field. You know what? Even then, expanding over here would be so long of a journey, to be honest. While over here, it only takes us five turns. Yeah, let's go over here. Why not? Yeah, let's go. It only takes us five turns to get over there, so we might as well make the trip this direction instead of going east where it'll take us eight or nine or ten turns all right i made my decision it's all about speed i guess i can make this area into something profitable i mean the boss village can definitely give me something oh you assholes Maybe i should select feed on bones over here to go to the city i'm not sure because there is more units coming our way uh, should I speed out the Necro Drone? I guess I should. Just in case these guys want to attack. Yep, pretty good. So you're gonna, they're going to be a little bit discouraged. I'm going to gain a lot more gold now. Because of the Dust Dreader being actually finished up for my city. Which is good. Where the hell did those units go? Those giant things. Kind of look like oversized Shrek dolls. Ah! Shrek! Ah, oh, they're called rumblers. Okay, so you know what? What to do? Can I fight them? 21 attack, 21 attack, 26 attack. What do these guys have? 25, 25 with 51 health. Mm, no, I can't. Okay. So, you know what? Let's uh, assign the hero here. Good. And we'll have the Necro Drones escort this area. Well, not this area, the settler. Ah, summer has returned. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we've met a minor faction. Okay. These are the ended. Where are they? Uh, minimize. I want to see where they are. Ooh, they're at, actually at the outskirts of Delrad. That actually sucks. Oh, well. Gosh darn Hydras moving around the place. We're going to have to deal with them soon. But for now, we're at a battle with the Rumblers. So let's try to fight them. No, why did I lose all that? Shit. Ugh. Oh, we actually didn't lose any units. Good. Whew. Alright, but I actually want to fight that. Oh. Damn it, that sucks. Oh, well. We have the Valiant Lightning now at our disposal. That's pretty cool. What does it do? It's a crossbow, but does it have any gear attached to it? Let's see. Wait, can I, can I not equip it? I can't equip it. That's weird. I guess it's because of the type of unit that I have. So maybe if I have a range unit that some of these like sort of technologies and weapons that I've come across will actually be useful, but I'm not sure. There are probably more there are probably multiple different units that I could choose from with the necrophages, so I'm all good I guess for now. Anyway, let's get as close to the boss village as I can. Yeah, right over there. In fact, if I settle right over there. I can get all this nice production. There's not really any incentive to be as close to my, to my capital as I possibly can. I mean, I'd rather go to the boss village so I can pick up some centaurs really, really fast. So let's go over there. And let's find the city. And then afterwards you can build borough streets to try to subjugate them. In fact, you know what? Let's uh, rush that out. Ooh. Actually. I could just pick up the boss village right now at the start. Awesome. Okay, that's really good. The city itself is pretty darn awesome. We do have some economic issues with it, but once we get the dust dreader, because we have most of our tiles in rivers thus far, like look at this. This uh, massive river right over here, and this massive river right over here. Once we get the Just uh, Dreader, we'll be able to gain a ton of gold from these two rivers, so that's pretty good. Anyway, let's see, where are my units? Okay, you know what? We'll have you become a completely new army. Oh, can I not span? Let's see, will that delete my units? Yes, that will delete my units. Don't really want that. 
Ah, it tra oh, I can transfer my units. Okay, that's good. Alright, I want to transfer my units over to my hero over here and then keep a Necro Drone in Del Red, just in case. So I subjugate the boss village. We should be all good when it comes to um, attacking my enemies from far. You know what? I think I'm going to end my turn off right about now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!